all right hello there welcome back to another wee bit different video today's video getting back into overwatch related video and today's discussion because we typically do discussions to be honest we have complete blizzcon 2023 summary so blizzcon just happened over the past weekend and a lot of news came out and so somebody was for uh, was kind enough fortunately for the community to post the summary on reddit so we're going to quickly go through that summary instead of watching over like an hour worth of content first things first season eight we got mauga coming uh in season eight <clears throat> first things first in season eight we have a new hero called mauga he is a tank character he was actually av available to play over the weekend and a lot of people had to try him out so i'm sure nobody's here to see that but gameplay trailer origin story ability overview for those of you that didn't get a chance to play him over the weekend uh, his ability overview is pretty simple so this is for the people that didn't get a chance to see him over the weekend he has an incendiary uh, chain gun and a vo volatile chain gun. One is on his left, one is on his right. You have to use the incendiary to ignite the enemy on fire. And once the enemy's on fire, this weapon in particular does critical damage to burning enemies. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, his ability, he has overrun, which he can charge forward and stomp to launch enemies. You are unstoppable while charging. Also, he has cardiac overdrive. Nearby allies take reduced damage and heal by dealing damage, which is pretty cool. Passive is gain temporary health when dealing critical damage. And then his ultimate is probably like one of the most creative ultimates in the game. The play barrier that traps yourself and enemies. Gain unlimited ammo while inside. Gotta say, extremely creative. I love the idea. Moving forward though, we have new hero mastery. New courses will be available following the hero for the following heroes. Diva, Echo, Genji, Lucio, and Mei. Personally, I don't play any hero mastery. I tried it one time and I thought it was boring. Again, that's just my opinion on it, but maybe some people actually care about it and some people actually really like it. So for those people, there you go. Uh, in 2024, new PVP game mode, game mode called Clash, a mode that consists of five capture points positioned in a straight line on a mirrored map with the center point starting as the first active objective. Teams have to fight back and forth over the map, pushing into enemy territory or defending their own. Once a team captures all five points or reaches the maximum score, they win. The launch map will be Hana Hanaoka, a reworked version of the original Hanamura. So these are the images of the reworked map and I haven't played the mode, so I'll have to hold my judgment until I do play the mode on the map. New info also on Venture, upcoming damage hero that will be released in season 10. In terms of official concept art, Boom, right here. Uh, not really the biggest fan of the art, but hey, maybe some people like it. I just think it's super plain in a way. Uh, the hair is kind of cool though. Uh, and then gameplay footage right here, we will click on and we will watch very briefly. So one quick thing you notice about Venture though, getting into the ground, being invulnerable, not able to be you know damaged while being in there. And also the weapon seems to be kind of cool looking. Uh, it reminds me of a drill, and it does drill into the ground. So, all in all, it's very, very rough because the animations don't look like the most clean just yet, and we still have to see the ultimate and the abilities. I couldn't tell what the R1 was. Primary fire shoots out an attack all enemies projectile that travels a set distance and explodes on contact. That's good to know. Uh, burrows into the ground while burrowed venture cannot be damaged and can move in any direction They can emerge from the ground in a vertical burst of movement either at will or when the ability duration runs out While emerged while emerge is fully charged. There's a brief aoe damaging effect when venture boost out of the ground Another ability forward dash that damages enemies in its path upon activation grants 50 shield hp that decays over a few seconds lore right here confirmed first nine binary hero a canadian archaeologist with an unquenchable thirst for treasures and hidden secrets which would make sense why they have the drill and then other news space ranger upcoming support hero that will be released in season 12 here is the official concept art and um not a whole lot to go off of it it's just a concept art it's gonna look something like this. We know that maybe we'll have some like flying or floating effects since it's a space hero. Uh, supposedly though, if I remember correctly, let me confirm. Her gun is no longer the burst fire SMG shown in the concept art. So, yep, 
that's no longer the gun, I guess. Competitive, the following competitive changes will be coming season nine. New rank ultimate above Grandmaster, that is, that is gonna change a lot. The five wins, 15 losses requirement to get an update on your rank has been removed. New competitive overview page that up updates your progress after every match. So let's get a quick look at that. And as we can see right here, it shows, though it doesn't feel like every match is a waste of time, which I'm totally on board with. New competitive overview will also show your predicted rank while going through placement matches. Uh, okay, so it's predicted rank gold one. That's kind of cool. Pre-match screen will now show the range of all players' ranks in the lobby. That's okay. That so it'd be gold one to plat two. Okay, that's kind of cool. I, I like that. I dig it. Annual rank reset and players across all ranks will be redistributed. Interesting. Not a whole lot to get off of there. It does have the question mark as well. Uh, rewards, new weapons as a competitive, sorry, emerald weapons as a new competitive reward. Uh, it doesn't seem that crazy. I mean, it's cool, better than nothing, right? Instead of just having only gold as an option, but that just looks green and not shiny at all. I feel like emerald has a shine to it. That looks like it has no shine. All current competitive points will be converted into a different legacy currency to be spent on gold weapons, but emerald weapons require a different type of currency can only be earned once the changes roll out. So that's not until season nine. To clear up some confusion, you will still be able to get golden guns. It's just that now you will have the option to choose between gold and emerald. I can imagine a lot of people would choose emerald. New competitive rewards will be announced on a yearly basis. That seems kind of underwhelming. A yearly basis? Competitive challenges are being removed and replaced with new competitive progress page. That's whatever. This one is very interesting. Most grouping restrictions have been removed. When players in the same group have a large gap between ranks, like bronze between diamond, the group will be classified as a wide group, meaning they will only be matched against other wide groups. Like wide groups, players with a small gap between ranks will be classified into narrow groups. The system will attempt to match players against others who have the exact same rank, but it's not guaranteed. Solo queue players will only ever play with other solo players or players in narrow groups. I really like the sound of it. And you know, again, it's all in theory, but hopefully in practice, it works out really well. New mode called Hero Mastery Gauntlet will be coming next year focused on three player co-op, which is kind of interesting, three players. Gauntlet will feature tower defense missions where you defend multiple objectives from incoming enemy waves. And that sounds definitely different, so I'm I'm on board with it, you know, something new, why not? Uh, general, new push map set in Peru, no direct images shown, new tank. Completing premium battle pass will each choose between claiming any previously unearned mythic skins or the current one. It isn't clear if this is a feature coming next season or next year. Regardless, this is a great, great addition. Uh, I never got the Genji Mythic skin, and I'm sure there's gonna be a Mythic skin that I don't like, and I'd rather just have the Genji one anyway. So I'm on board with this one completely, and I think a lot of people would love it. New collabs have been confirmed. Themes for the upcoming seasons were teased. Eldritch Horror, Egyptian Mythology, witches and an alternate universe where heroes become villains and villains become heroes okay okay now it doesn't say anything here on the collabs but yeah i mean this is just a lot of information and it's really cool so let's take a look at some of the uh, reactions from the comments mirror universe season hype yeah the most upvoted comment i think a lot of people were really happy about that one the emerald weapons are cool finally different stuff for weapon skins but like that's it question mark again i don't know why i say question mark i it seems very apparent how i'm phrasing it that it's a question anyway could literally copy it and color it red and blue for ruby and sapphire and that's triple the content for almost no effort there will be different comp rewards every year yeah i'm with this coming right here yeah ruby next year and sapphire the year after like that just sounds like so much dude I'm sorry, it sounds like so little to add. And year after year? I don't like it. That's just me. I, I don't I don't like that it's year after year. That seems like something very simple to add. Again, maybe it's not, but even then that, 
Like that is the only reward feels very underwhelming. Thank you with the uh, praying emoji. I think a lot of people just like transparency and open communication. Nether Realm should definitely take hints on that. Hint, hint. Good stuff. Excited for next year. Uh, I think the best part about this, again, to me, is just the open and clear cut communication. Hopefully they don't go back on the word with some of these because, you know, we've we've seen it happen before. And I don't want to bring it up, but it's the elephant in the room if I don't. We have been promised things before that we didn't get. So let's just let's just clear that out. Those emerald guns better look a lot better when they're released. I'm going to have to agree. Uh, let's go back to it just to show you guys again. Maybe some of you forgot. But it just looks flat out green and no bling. There's no shine to that shit. And that's one of the first things I said was it's just green. Like, that's it. <laughs> Last comment we're going to read here. All great news, honestly. Lots of W's. My only two complaints. No news on PvE missions, which to me... It's kind of surprising because when they dropped PE, PVE, it was a huge deal. They charged the bundle for it just for them to completely like ignore it for this event was, I don't know, for me, it was kind of random. Uh, anyway, no push slash, uh, no push rework slash changes. Follow up comment though is they showed character artworks for the two new heroes after Malga and they couldn't show an artwork for the missions. I don't know, and when it comes to Blizzard and specifically Overwatch 2 PvE side, silence and absence is always a bad sign. Lots of great news, but PV PvE missions are a big question mark for me. Yeah, they didn't address that at all. That's like the only thing that I'm surprised about, but even then, even then I thought keeping an open line of communication is extremely important, and it seems like the event was a big success. There was a lot of people that were really happy about it. A lot of posts on the subreddit saying it was amazing, and people kind of just saying they loved it. So, I mean, all in all cool, right? That's kind of what you want when it comes to video games is to be able to love the video game that you're playing. It seems like a lot of people love what's in store. And personally, I am excited, but not like over the moon as much as these other people, just because they've fallen flat a little bit during some of the bigger things that were supposed to be crazy. So I'm kind of just holding my breath before I get too excited. But as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you for watching, and this is Ollie Been Different. All we've been different, and we out.